Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope everybody's having a wonderful day. Today we are going to be making um, a book pillow. So this is a finished one we have. Let's see if I can get up a little further here so you can see the whole thing. There we go. So this is just an 18 by 18 pillow. Um, I got one at Walmart. Um, you can use one that's lying around the house. Uh, you can make this for any pillow that you have. Uh, you just have to measure, measure your pillow. So it's got a nice pocket where you can put a book in. Um, great, great beginner gift for um, a child who is learning how to sew. Um, the back is here and then it has the pockets there's no zippers or anything it's just a just a close like that for the pillow all right let's get started the pillows I am using um, I bought at Walmart they are 18 inches by 18 inches um, you can alter this to however you what whatever kind of pillow you have So the first thing you are going to need to cut, so I would get, if you're ordering, if you're gonna go get fabric for this, I would get probably a half a yard of one color and then a yard of the other, or be on the safe side, get a yard of each. So the first cut you're gonna do is, this is gonna be the front of your pillow, and this is gonna be cut at 18 inches by 18 inches. Now the second cut you are going to do is you are going to have a 13 inch by 18 inches rectangle and you're going to cut three of those. This will act as your, your closure in the back and also your pocket in your pillow. Alrighty, if you guys are ready to start, let's get started. Um, you're also going to have to have a, um, a sewing machine, scissors, iron, um, just your basic sewing. So the first thing you are going to do is you're going to take these 18 by 13 pieces and we are going to make a lip on these. So you're going to iron and you're going to do half an inch and then you're gonna fold down and you're gonna do half an inch, iron that down, and then you're gonna do another half inch and iron that down. And you're gonna do this to all three pieces that are 18 by 13. And when you're, when you're ironing these, you're gonna to wanna to iron these on the 18 inch side. And you should end up with something that looks like this. So there's the half inch, fold it over, and then there's the other half inch. Next step we are gonna do is we are gonna hem right along the edge of our folded on all three. Now that it's sewn and we have our top stitch, the outside, the main part of the fabric should look like that and the back fabric should look like this. Now the next step is we are gonna start putting the pillow together. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is you are gonna take the 18 inch by 18 inch square and you're gonna lay it out. Next, you're gonna take one of the 13 by 18 pieces and we are just gonna lay it on top, wrong side to right side. So everything looks up front. Making sure everything lines up. 
just like that. Now after you have that down, you're going to take one of the 13 by 18 panels and you're going to put them right sides together. Make sure everything lines up. And then you're going to take the last piece and when you're doing this make sure on the this is going to be your back part where we can put the pillow in that your hemmed sides are in and your raw ledges are towards the outside. And you're going to do the same thing to the other side. Just like that. Now we are going to pin. So we're going to pin all the way around. Now that we are pinned, the next thing we are going to do is we're going to sew. So you're going to sew a quarter of an inch inseam or a quarter of an inch seam all the way around. You don't have to worry about leaving a hole. Just stitch all the way around all four corners. So after you have your stitching done, it should look something like this. I already took out my pins and your stitching should look like that. Now the next step you're going to want to do is you're going to want to cut your corners, making sure that you do not get in your stitching because then it will unravel. This will cut down the bulk in the corners. So after you have that done, all we need to do is flip our cover. So you're going to take this. I always come up to one corner first. Push out my corner. Come out to the other corner. Push it out. And there you have it. That's your cover. I just think this pink fabric is so cute. Now you're going to grab your pillow. This is the pillow I've used. I said I got this at Walmart, but you can get them anywhere. Um, Joann's does, and I think Michael's has them too, is just the regular basic pillows that you can buy. They're a little more expensive, but I just went with the inexpensive pillow. <clears throat> so what you're going to do, you're going to put the corners up in. There's the one side. That. Then you're going to grab the back and you're going to put it in. Straighten it out a little bit in the back. There we go. There she is. I think she is cute as a button. Now, if you're gifting this, you could put a book in there uh, for the person you're giving it to. Embellish it. You could put embellishments on it if you want. Whatever you decide you want to do. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. Please like and subscribe. And I hope everybody has a wonderful day, and we will see you later. Bye!